a couple weeks ago I met up with Pepe and a couple of his uh, friends and they wanted to do this. And they came to us with trying to unite our communities, are trying to uh, deal with a lot of the suppression tactics that the city of Santa Barbara is doing. What we've been trying to do is bring to light the fact that the way that they're going about it is actually isolating these communities and not letting us try to network with each other to try to unite a lot of these young men to move in a positive way. Right now they've been funneling a lot of money through suppression and our education system has been failing. There's no job opportunities. There's nothing left in our communities for these young men to do. So what we're trying to do here is bring awareness that there's got to be a different way of us doing it and including those communities that are being suppressed right now and this March. As you can see, we don't have too many of these young men out here. We have invited a lot of these young men. We have talked to their POs, but unfortunately, they're not allowed to congregate with each other because that's a violation. So we're trying to change some of the policies that are being implemented right now so they can shoot, so the community and the city can actually see that these kids do want to be a part of this community. So with what we're doing here is we're going to be marching and we're trying to bring more attention, again, like I said, to the gang injunction, to the gang enhancements, and to the way that the city has been doing this. When the gang injunction came in place, they didn't ask our community if this is what we wanted. City council held it behind closed doors. And even when we were in talks with the mayor, the city attorney's office, the district attorney's office, and even the chief of police, they kept on telling us that we still have plenty of time to get the community behind this. The next day, they started raiding homes at seven o'clock in the morning, okay? So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to show everybody in the community that these are the things that are going on and how can you help us stand up against the way that they're doing things. We have no problem with incarcerating individuals that don't belong in our community. But what we've been doing lately has been registering young men that are not in gangs as gang members. That's why the numbers of gang members in Santa Barbara has skyrocketed. Every kid that gets in trouble that lives in an area where there's gangs is automatically made to register as a gang member, which validates the reason for law enforcement to say that we have a, a big problem with crime, a big problem with gangs, but that's not the truth. So what we're trying to do here is to get educate people, to start asking those questions of those city elected individuals and hold everybody accountable for what they do. Thank you.